So there's a model called Galactica. It, was, it preceded chat by GPT by a few weeks, but uses basically the same mechanisms without the so-called guardrails. And so it was able to make fluent text. It was a large language model. And somebody sent me this great example that is, I think, super illustrative, which is they say, use the words Elon Musk and car crash in a sentence. Um, and the system <coughs> came up with on March 18th of 2018, the year is important here, Tesla CEO Elon Musk was involved in a fatal car collision. And then it goes on to make clear that you know Musk was the person who died in, in that collision. <coughs> well, we know that Elon Musk did not die in 2018. We have enormous amount of evidence to show that he didn't, right? He tweets every day. He's in the news every day. If there's anybody that we know is still alive, it's Elon Musk. If he did die, we would be pretty sure we get a lot of news reports on that. So there's lots of data in the training set. So why does a system do this? And there's lots of data in the training set. There's lots of sources you can consult. Well, we have a tendency to over attribute to these systems the notion that they're intelligent. And really, they're just doing one kind of thing. They're not generally intelligent. They're not clever enough to go check Wikipedia to see if Elon Musk is still alive. But what they do is they glom bits of text together. And there are bits of text in the database that say things like somebody died in a car crash in 2018. And that's some of those somebodies were in Tesla's. And <clears throat> there are bits of text that associate Elon Musk and Tesla. But the relationships between those words are not understood by the system. It doesn't understand that Musk's relation to Tesla is that he owns it rather than he was in a specific car crash. But each little bit of text, the word March is plausibly followed by 18. The word 18 is plausibly followed by 2018. And these systems are ultimately just doing text prediction. So every word it plausibly follows the words um, that precede it. And there's some more subtleties there. But basically, they are producing cohesive bits of text, but they are not fact-checking them. They are not building a model of who was alive at what point or what do they do for a living or who was in an accident. They're just not doing it the way people do. It's very hard to swallow for people who have not thought about cognitive science. It's very easy to see the answers and just assume that these devices are you know, intelligent like we are, but they're not. They're text predictors.